video. The first video was on the orange bike, and this one's on the black. Um, and this was actually the first uh, utility bike that we purchased. Um, this was, I, I think it's a 2005, let's see, because yeah, here's the serial number. And it's laser cut into the steel. Which is welded to the frame. And I'm told that there is an RFID chip in the frame somewhere with the serial number also. Um, I, be I believe I read that somewhere years ago. But uh, this would be corresponds, so this would be. What's, what is F? Um, a, B, C, D, E, F, 6. So 2006 um, is when we this was manufactured. So that would be about probably when we bought it. I think it was actually 2007 um, on the showroom floor. And I think it was Tinker Tom's in McCook, Nebraska. Um, but that's really cool. The serial number is, you know, somebody not going to steal that and scratch off the serial number. Um, it's a Batavis. And it's a delivery bike model, and it's powder coated over the the labels. The and I think, uh, yeah, it's powder black powder coated, and it's got a clear over the the labels to keep them from getting dinged up. Got the Batavis right there, the bird, uh, heron. I think it's a heron. I don't know for sure, but this has the Schwabby Big Apples on it. Um, it's a two inch wide, 26 by two inch. Um, and that, it came with 26 by 175. And then, um, I took those off and went with the 26 by two. Because I wanted just a little bit wider. Um, and I don't know why at the moment, that, why I seem to think I needed that. But, um, this one also has the internal, has the uh, internal hub that powers the dynamometer, dyno, dynamo that does six volts, probably two watts. Um, it does a front light and a back light as well. There's the front, it comes on when you pedal. Um, and you, you have the option to turn it on and off on this one, should you choose. And then on the back, you have, it's kind of hidden. There's that, the back light there. Uh, I probably needed to. Move this up a little bit, but it didn't. Um, and so this one has the roller brakes um, instead of drum brakes or the rim brakes that they grab on here or the, a disc brake. These are roller brakes, they work very well. Um, it, they need occasionally a little bit of rim, uh, roller brake grease. Um, like, I mean, like, hardly ever. Um, you adjust them just like you would on a motor scooter or a motorbike. Well, some way. Um, and then it has this, a pop crate. Tie wrap down onto a pipe frame or a tubing frame. Rack. Now this is fastened to the handlebars. So, oh, and it has this safety, or this lock to keep it from flopping around when it's loaded. You just turn it, and then it easily moves. Um, and so this follows, the load is going to follow your turn, when you make a turn. Um, so, but this is really nice to lock that when you're loading that as well. And then you've got this neat little... Um, I guess I didn't get that locked. There we go. And it's got a ratchet. And it's got a ratchet in there. You can force it to move. It's got a neat little cable organizer here. Um, and you know, got straps tied to the front. Little type tie wraps in there, not tie wraps, a tarp straps in there to, you know, tie little things on big things, whatever you're doing. Um, and you get your good brakes. And a neat little bell. 
and this is a three speed three speed internal um, hub um, so there's no gears on the outside it's all internal hubs um, this technology has been around for 70 80 years it's tried and true and works excellent roller brake back here um, and here's a driver deal that's got a spare tube in it um, a little toolbox that sits here um, I think there's a one of these bungee cord things in there um, and then this is really neat these you see there's a uh, plastic uh, guard that keeps water from spraying out onto your clothes if you're riding this to commute now it's got nice long fenders that come down here so it, the water doesn't kick off the tire and throw up on on you um, it's got a again the uh, pannier um, to hold your panniers away from your wheels and then I've got some panniers that are permanently attached on here and just un pull this off and then they'll roll down they have a they and they fold out like a, a box you know like a bag um, and you can put a lot of stuff in these and um, one on each side it's got the rack and you can see the pannier just comes across under it but the rack is a nice heavy-duty pipe rack and it comes uh, yeah, right back to there. Right back to there. And, um, and then a neat, neat little way to keep the back fender secure. And another tie place. You can actually tie a tarp strap on that. Or rope or cord or what have you. And then on this one, just... Uh, just like in the other video on the uh, work cycle, this one has the fully enclosed chain. Um, and it is to keep mud and dirt from getting on the chain and making it wear faster. Um, so you periodically put a little oil on it. Um, you, the back comes loose right here. You put some oil on it. Um, check the tension if you need to adjust it. We got little pulls on the back. Here is the three-speed shifter, um, and then um, oh, and then the, the uh, center stand, kickstand, real nice because it keeps the bike sitting flat while you're loading up um, your your cargo. And um, you know, I, we always started loading in the back because it pushes it down. And it makes it more secure as you load the front because it's more tend to want to wiggle and you load those panniers down very heavy. Um, with the three-speed gears, it's really not bad at all to ride. Um, and let's, oh yeah, and right here, this has a frame lock for security. Um, and I really like this this one on here. I like the one on the um, work cycle on the other video but I like this one twice as much because it has this lock here this cable which has a pin on it and so you can run this through um, the front wheel if you want and loop it back through the hole and plug it in here or you can run it around a pole a light pole or some solid object or um, as we've done in different occasions when we've rode to the store is we'll throw this around our other big heavy bike and lock it lock these two together facing opposite directions and um, nobody's really going to grab and throw them in a pickup or steal them But 
anyway and it just plugs in like so and then and then on the other side there's a key that you uh, where's it at yeah right here and um, right on right there there's this lever so you turn the key just like the other one you turn that key and you push this lever and then it closes through the spokes so I like, don't think I can do it while you can watch but in there and so it's it comes around and it's locked to the frame um, you can't really get in there to get it out I, mean, I suppose you could if you was really ambitious but it's gonna take some work um, and then this well and I didn't push this in all the way had I pushed this in all the way it would have that would be locked in there um, so and then to pull the key out and you just take it with you Turn it like that, unlock it, pull this up, coil it, stuff it back in here, and um, get on your get on your horse and ride, so to speak. Yeah, anyway, um, and then water um, thermos thing, and. Front and rear brakes, um, very nice, very, very nice hardware, um, and it's a really is a real good workhorse of a bike. Um, a lot of miles on it. This we've had longer than the work cycle, um, and. I mean, I guess a lot of miles, not really in the grand scheme of if you live in, you know, the Netherlands, but um, we've used them. And they definitely are unique. Um, wherever you go, somebody's like, is that a moped? No, it's just a regular bike. All kinds of fun conversations come up from them. Um, but if um, well here, I'm going to push them over to, you know, I'll bring that one over here. As you can see, they're very similar um, in the fact as far as um, sturdiness and um, their utilitarian purposes but so very different in, you know, a lot of other, other areas. Um, but they are indeed worth, uh, worth watching the video and going, huh, never knew those things existed. I didn't either until I was in McCook, Nebraska, and was going down Franklin Street, I think, and I saw this sitting in the showroom window, and they were closed on a Sunday late evening. Called them up on the next Monday. They said, yeah, come on back up and take a look at it. So went up that, e that late afternoon and brought it home. And in that spurred this bike over here. We wound up needing this one because I can't just have a bike and my wife can't have one so um, she rode that one for quite a while kind of commandeered it for a bit and I saw I'm going to get myself a new one and then got to looking and saw that and I said well that'd be a nice bike and then ordered it in and gave it to her and I got my bicycle back so, thanks for watching bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see